Oh my goodness, we're back, and I didn't know. So I did a little searching. Australian thrash. Now, here's what I learned. Because of your distance from the scene, Australia didn't, uh, didn't have a lot of thrash bands. Okay, that's cool. I have no idea what we're going to get here. It's the darker side of thrash. That's fine. We just uh, visited uh, Venom, which is, uh, you know, foundation of the dark side of thrash and death metal and all that. So that's the answer. That evil demon looks like he's uh, smushing the opera house out there. It's very sad. Very sad. Mayhemic destruction. Destruction and mayhem. Yes. Uh, that's uh, the album. I believe the song is Curse. The Curse. Let's check it out. There, there it is. So, what is the number one core? What, from the very beginning, been trying to figure out what is it that runs through my veins, the, the, the soundtrack of my life? And it's varied, it's crazy, it's not Cannibal Corpse, right? It never has been. No, that right there, right, right there. That's it doesn't matter what band from what corner of the planet there's just this picking and and um, just this sound that comes from thrash that it works ooh it's right here pick your favorite band i bet they have a moment i mean this is 85 so I mean, this is at the forefront, right? This isn't late in the game. You release in 85. I, I don't, I mean, if this came out in 85, would they have been playing for a couple years? So that's, that's, you're definitely influenced by the, you know, the core of uh, the heavier old school stuff. I'm sure they dug King Diamond, or not King, yeah, probably Merciful Fate, shit like that. Uh, Diamond had all those bands that influenced Budgie. I, we better go back to Budgie today. One of the birthplaces of thrash. Oh, man, I hope the vocals are in there. Not, not that, right, I'm picky. Oh, I'm so picky, and I wish I wasn't, because so far, minute 56, boy, this is fire. I like, I, I like everything about this so far.
Okay. Is the curse an intro? I don't know. I can't tell. Keep going. I mean, it's it's Metallica, Megadethy. Of course it is. That's almost Four Horsemen esque, isn't it? Or Jump in the Fire One. I'm trying. I can't think of which one. There's a. It doesn't matter. It's still kick ass, and uh, you know it's thrash. So there's a lot of reoccurring riffs, just like uh, in rock and roll. There's a lot of that EAG. It's here too, but they're just wow, you know, power picking up some riff, putting a little lick in there at the same time. Thank you, Australia. And uh, I don't know, Grumpy probably didn't make it this far in. Grumpy's being real grumpy, and uh, she doesn't understand. Australia is giving me rewards and gifts and love, and I, I, it's a real reward. This just added a threat. There should this album. I, I should. Now I know an album to look for in the future. Ah, that's too right in the, oh, it's just right in the guts, man. It's right everything I want from a thrash. It's it's here. Yep, it sounds kind of metallic -y. Yep, I could have five different, oh, top five thrash bands. Oh, it turns out Metallica is not even in my top five. And they all, all my top five have riffs. It's all right. It's all the same genre. So I'm not going to, yep. If you're if it's Metallica's your thing, go check that out. This, well, I like this better already, cause I don't know it and it's fresh for me. And uh, I, I've seen Seek and Destroy, I've heard it. That's cool. I need a different version of it. You can think I'm. You can think I'm working it. I don't care. I said it from the beginning. So this is where the rope. I mean, I you know if if we're on this journey together. Oh, here, let me move that crap for you. If we're on this journey together, and we've been on the journey for a while. This shouldn't even be 
Uh, it should make perfect sense. What do I like the most? I mean, it's, you know, it's sitting right there. Uh, I, I make it clear where my, my preferences really are, right? I mean, I can get, you know, we could become a deer, but uh, Dimash is never going to do this for me. I could be amazed by the vocal stylings and skill set, right? For sure. It's, it's amazing. It doesn't take a rocket science to figure out that's a, a hell of a hell of a range the kid's got. And uh, in sharing personal opinions, this might just have no, this might be just a Metallica knockoff for a lot of people. I, uh, I might just do the whole album right now. I don't know, it'd take a while. I, on the other hand, am... Did they shout out their band in the song? I mean, I really, I mean, I don't know where we're at. I can't tell. That seemed like Immortal, or I, or I don't know what it, the hell that song. I don't know what they are. I just know, S screw it, let's go. Bus riders and uh, lounge dwellers, I have not had a morning this good. It's 9.33. 
I have not had a morning this good in so long. I don't know what to say. And if you've been around, then you know. I try not to bullshit anybody on this deal. Yeah, wherever it takes me, that's kind of the thing, right? Where, whatever's at the bottom of the rabbit hole, we'll find out. You just know it's going to be music, right? Let them chase other rabbit holes in other places. I got to be right back. I got to get supplies. We're going. We're just going. Oh, I'm going and you can keep chilling. How about that? But I got to keep going. This is the best thing I've heard in a long, long time for real. Um, I haven't got a new band in so long. I don't even know what to tell people. So this is just, I'm giddy. Oh yeah, no, prepared, prepared. And I, I really needed a cup of coffee. Someone had to go get me a cup of Joe. I, I really need a cup of coffee. Go get me a cup of Joe. If you know that tune, let me know. Back to mayhemic destruction from mortal sin. I know. I feel like I've been gone, and for you it was just a moment. It's weird. Unavoidable. Still weird. Is my search still up? It's gone. Okay, so what I did is I searched... Oh, there it is. Australian thrash metal bands. Uh, then I went to the Wikipedia on that, which I don't like Wikipedia. I've said this so many times. Uh, they're redefining words and getting away with it, but it works for music. Oh, see? I did say this. Uh, so... Um, they don't know where it began out there, but, uh, yeah, your punk did change. You got some, uh, oh, no wonder that uh, these guys got to tour with, uh, Metallica, Testament and Faith No More. Ah, uh, At The Gates covered one of uh, your early thrash bands, Slaughter Lord, that fell apart. Um, very cool. Slayer influenced. Ooh, I'll have to check that out. So here's what I was trying to, trying to say or get to. So, because you're down there, nothing but love and respect. What, it's the middle of the winter? It's like, it's, it's like a fucking time machine. You know I'm playing, right? But it is like a time machine. It's weird. Like, I'm talking to you tomorrow, all right? But it's now. And you're living now right now. But now is tomorrow. <sighs> Smoke more and contemplate that. I'm just playing. I'm just kidding. But so so because of location... um. You get influences, right? Demo tapes start coming through. Punk starts uh, turning into skate punk or thrash. Um, you get more artists through. Someone comes to visit and you get a tape and you hear it and it gets born. And if it's a mix of all the best that's out there and it got uh, cultivated down under and turned into its own thing, pfft, once again, nothing but love. Because this is fire. This is by far Mm. It's like when I found Blood Feast, Chopping Block Blues. That album to me stands up against so many other thrash albums that I just can't get enough of it and hardly nobody knows what it is. And I love that. Because like I said, 
I don't I don't need to hear a Metallica song again. I, I've heard them. we go let's talk about it let's talk about it let's talk about political intrigue baby world views don't you see because it turns out thrash has been telling me the things i need to see yeah 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 so what the fuck is it wrong with every other i i i just think i think thrash was better at pointing out uh political uh, geopolitical situations and global strife and problems much better than the uh, anti-war effort of the hippies ever did. Um, I, I, I don't think we all should go after each other, but I don't think we're going to hug this whole thing out. That's it, right? I don't think it's going to denigrate all the way down to bricks and clubs, but I don't think hippie drum circles are going to get it done either. I think it's going to be intelligent discourse and realizing similarities, not differences. But what do I know? I only hope for the Great Awakening. I'm not sure it's taking place. Why am I going off here? Because this appears to be the Lebanon track. And then you'd have to put Lebanon into consideration with 1985 and a bunch of other stuff. You don't get to have a 2022 take on it. You'd have to go back to then. And then you'd have to ask yourself, what band was going this far? There's a few. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you 2 and other bands weren't. Uh, 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 there's all kinds of uh, geopolitical positioning in music. I just like the position Thrash took with it all, if that makes any sense. And I, I best example would be uh, Testament was my kind of lefties back in the day. Uh, Anti-suicidal, uh, my kind of left-leaning individuals back in the day, indicting the church, indicting uh, uh, the medical industry. Um, uh, now... Uh, the, the new new progressive order is lockstep with the medical industry. Even oh, they get poisoned by them. Holy shit! I never saw that coming. Now, as a thrash guy, I, I'm not. I didn't fall into any of those traps. I knew my thrash guys were telling me the truth then, and then it turns out all of those positions just rolled over to where I'm at now. Uh, screw medical tyranny. Screw the oppressive. Um, uh, corrupt church system and, uh, you know, screw the exploiters. I'm not a deforce the whole planet and shit on it guy. I'm a live in balance with renewable resources. I don't understand why all paper isn't hemp already. Fuck making gummies and CBD garbage. Where's the clothes, the, the, the oils, the, why aren't the cars running on hemp seed oil? Hell, why isn't canola oil running in cars not our 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 bloodstream? There's a good fucking question.
So it's it's like hearing "Kill 'Em All" for the first time again. Uh, killing is my business because it's it's got the same structure, right? So it's definitely, in my opinion, only. I don't. I. I Mm, I hate, I don't hate, I try, I don't want to hate anybody except island dwelling weirdos and uh, mega 1% elitists who hurt, hurt people. I just, I don't, I hate them. I fucking hate them with all my heart. Um, the with people are, are disgusting, but I don't want to be a hater otherwise. Um, and if you're a huge purest thrash guy yeah i mean this is so influenced by the early days of thrash that you know you could you could argue i can't this is the most fun i've had with music probably i like the rap i like the other stuff this might be the number one numero uno experience I've had since reacting. Grumpy! It's your your fault. I am positive I did your favorite. I did a bunch you love. And I bend over backwards for you. And if you make it this far, uh, well, A, a half hour into a thrash metal album, I don't think you're going to make it. But if you did, here's the deal. You get a ton of attention while there's other good people that get left out all the time. Because I end up bending over backwards for the people complaining. Not the other way around. And that's uh, that's going to have to change. Hold on, I got the dog. Hold on. All right. Yeah, no, we, uh, Pooper Pops. You're down here. Yeah, he can't even do it, uh. It's okay. We're we're working things out. We realize he's just getting super grumpy and weird and eccentric in his old age. Okay, so grumpy, just like my grumpy dog, demands a lot of attention and then treats Ange and I like we don't care at all, which I believe anybody who's been along for this ride would know differently. So I'm a little frustrated. We're going to get back to this album because this album's so good. Australian thrash metal on a channel that was based on rap and thrash. Huh. I wonder why we're here. Just saying, Grump, if you made it this far, I I do care about you. But even at Patreon, you should read what the front row um, 
or, you know, what nosebleed, what's the benefit? There are people that take care of us really well and go without. And then you kind of talk to Ange and I like we should be programming this channel for you. Well, I tried to do free all right now, and it almost killed me. That song is so against everything I believe in. It was like sitting through a Chrysler commercial. I don't do that. But I do do full album plays on something like Mayhemic Destruction from Mortal Sin. Early, early, mid-80s thrash metal from Australia. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I knew I loved you guys down there. Gals and um, kangaroo spirits. I don't know, you know. Wallaby kin spirits. I don't know what the hell, you know, you're um, the, the extremists do down there. But uh, old school thrash gals and guys. Shit. You had some of you, you. You got a band down there that uh, Oh Roland will be listening to for the rest of his life for sure. This album is fire to me. Shit, if I was in the pit, I'd be sweaty mess. Who cares? This is why I never cared. I don't care. Why? Why? I don't need to. I'm literally just projecting myself into the pit because this is just... Part one, literally, we'll just be right back.